Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore creative and innovative Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. I'm your host, Jennifer Gianni, and today we'll be looking at some smart spine footwork. All right, a little bit of smart spine footwork on the sacral wedges. So I'm going to start this on the floor. And then in a later episode, we're going to also bring this sequence onto the reformer into the foot strap. So stay tuned for that. So I've warmed up the sacral wedges for about a minute in the microwave. And so in a moment, I'm going to get Marcella to step up on here. But I want us to look at her feet for a second. So her talus, both of her taluses kind of drop inward. And she tends to put more weight on her inner arch. Um, so that's going to be really important for us to notice before we start to work her feet. So we're really going to be wanting to work the, um, her inner arch and especially around her navicular bone. So she's going to come up onto the smart spine wedges and it's really nice that they're a little bit heated. Now I'm going to help her center her feet and make sure that they're nice and straight. Move this one up just the tiniest bit. Good. And this one up just the tiniest bit, good, and just hold. And I'm just gonna cue her to soften the knees for a moment. And what I'm looking at is that the smart spine is hitting her right behind her fifth metatarsal at her cuboid, and that she also has a sense of a reach into her first ray spot. So this diagonal, which is a diagonal in gait every time we take a step, so this is also functional gait training, what we're doing here today too. Um, this diagonal, I want her to be very aware of it. Now, because of her ankle, um, she has a little bit of tightness in her Achilles tendon. So I'm going to give her a little bit of lift for her heel, and that's going to help her a great deal. Good, and put your heel down. Now, give it a little softness in your knees. Yep. And so what she needs to find to be able for us to get more of a center talus is just a little bit more weight on this lateral cuboid. Yeah, and that's, yeah, so you want to keep working there. Yep, so keep finding that cuboid without losing the first ray. And then to help her even more, I'm going to place my index finger right under her navicular bone. Now, I want her to imagine that my finger here under her navicular bone is hot, and she's thinking about slurping. That's beautiful. Now, don't lose your heel. Don't lose your first ray too much um, on your inner heel. Lighten on my navicular bone just, to, yes, good. That's really good. So she found a great spot here, and then you can release for a second and go back to your comfort zone for a moment. All right, so we're gonna find that again, and I'm gonna have you just do a tiny knee bend and a very slow straightening of the legs. All right, so she's gonna concentrate. She needs to concentrate on more pressure into the cuboid without losing her first ray. Little softness in the knee, especially more with your right knee, or more with your left knee than your right. Yep, good. And then we're gonna, I'm gonna give you, you're already doing really good. So when I bring my finger here under your navicular bone, do not lose your first ray or your inner heel. More on your cuboid bone on this left leg. There you go, good. Now on your inhale, you're gonna do a little parallel plie. So you're gonna bend the knees just a bit, open up your peacock feathers in the back, Good, and then on the exhale, slowly, slowly straighten your legs. Do that two more times, and I'm looking that she can do a little bend in her knees. Her knees are tracking over the second toe. Good. On this left foot again, I want you to find a little bit more to the cuboid. Uh-huh, good, and keep it on the cuboid as you straighten the leg. Very good. Last two. Now, can you feel like you could straighten your right leg before your left? Just a mini second before your left. One more. So you're straightening that right leg just a mini. Yeah, there you go. One more time. Bend. Uh-huh. Cuboid on the left. Right knee straightens a mini second behind the left. Good. Does that feel like a lot of work in your ankles and your feet? That's excellent. Really, really good work. So stay tuned for our next one on the reformer. That's it for today. If you have an observation or a question that you'd like to see answered in an upcoming episode, comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or the forum on our site. See you next time. And never stop learning.
I'm your host, Jennifer Gianni, and today, <laughs> this is a trainer. <laughs> I'm your host, slow and steady, and never stop learning. <laughs> You go like this, yeah. and you like punch the other person. You're just it's supposed to be like a tap. Ah! Ah! Bam. <laughs> <laughs>